the very beginning of 2013, we started to notice a huge change in uh, my son, Andrew. He was 14. He just walked away from Christ completely and, um, and decided, I don't believe there is a God, and I'm an atheist. And we watched our happy boy, um, a really fun to be with. I'm honestly probably a lot like Zach, extremely yeah. encouraging, um, empathetic. He feels what people feel when he's in a room. And he went from being just one of the most amazing people to be around to being honestly one of the most miserable people to be around. And um, I'll never forget in about May of 2013, just saying, what is wrong with you? Like, what do you want? Happy. And he's like, um, to just to just tell you guys the truth that I'm not a Christian, I'm not, a, I'm an atheist, and I don't believe there is a God, and I want nothing to do with God and nothing to do with church. And he walked straight into the pit of darkness. There was a lot, lot of details, and my husband and I had no idea what it was going to look like, and we struggled. But one night, um, I remember it was la it was probably about a year ago. Um, him coming in my room, I was all by myself, and him laying on my bed, and for the first time, I heard this concern and this fear. In his heart, and he said, "Mom, what if I die? What if what if I get cancer? And what if I'm wrong? What if there is a God?" Me at all. And um, what I discovered a couple of days ago is that right around that same time, um, he had watched the story about Zach. He had seen Soul Pancakes video about um, Zach's story and Zach's life. And when Andrew found out that I was going to interview you, he's like, "You're going to talk to Zach's mom?" And I was like. Do you even know who Zach is? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I watched his video and his story and it, um, found out about him when I was an atheist. And he made me want what he had. Like, he made me want hope. And um, instead of me telling you the rest, I, I wanted to invite Andrew to join us. And he's been listening, so he's going he's gonna to pull up a chair. And How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I feel like you're like my second mom, kind of, you know, <laughs> after reading your book. That's it. Uh, I want to go on and how Zach's life impacted you. Um, there was definitely a happiness about him when I started watching that movie. And um, I really didn't know you guys believed in, uh, and you guys were Christians, actually. I just, because it was Soul Pancake. Um, but um, I just kind of watched it, and I saw this teenager who had such joy. He always had a smile. He always, um, I felt like he was living for something better. He was always um, focused on something that I don't focus on every day. And that's just kind of take every moment. And just um, now that I'm starting to see he was living in love in a way. And um, that was really changing for me. I've never seen that before in, in a teenager. And um, right. I, it definitely changed my heart, and it very it caught my attention. It caught my um, heart, and it pulled me out of this um, logical sense, this logical mind, and um, just thinking about things analytically. And so I just kind of started thinking about well, what if there, what if there's something more? Like there's got to be a purpose to this, or else I could just die tomorrow, and there really is there is really isn't a big difference. Like, where's my, what's my purpose really? <laughs> And um, what happens after death? What like all these different questions started to arise and come to the surface, and I began to realize that there's got to be um, a light, as the Bible talks about. There's got to be something better. There's got to be a hope, and I can't live my life like this really anymore because there's a darkness to it. Really, when you kind of get consumed by that. Um, so I just I'm so thankful for Zach and um, all that he. Um, really taught me, I guess, the video and how um, much as he has inspired me, but I also feel like he's uh, really become a friend of mine, kind of mm -hmm. through the book and through the video. So I really appreciate your son, though. That's such a great, thank you so much for sharing that with me, because when your mom told me about it in the email that I received on Sunday night, mm -hmm. I, I thought, you're my soul. <laughs> you're, the one. you're the one that I was praying for. And so it's just... I mean, what an awesome, awesome thing to happen and to to be part of on our end too. I mean, what a what an incredible thing to actually see you. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you for awesome. sharing that. Do you have um, any questions? I had a question.